Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I have a sore throat or or something along the lines of that. So I'm not able to like really talk to you guys. But I have something to show you guys, okay? I have something to show you today. As I was going through my packages trying to get rid of boxes, I came across a palette that I thought, this is really cute. And then I opened and I thought, oh my God, this is so cute, okay? I'm literally just gonna show you one palette, okay? It's something very, very small. Okay, so that's, that. I'm, just, I'm gonna show you one tiny little palette. Hi, my name is Ohima Bonsu. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for clicking to watch this video, okay? So if you wanna see this tiny palette that I'm talking about and if we can actually do something with it, then keep on watching. I came across a Lorac box that I got sent. I looked through it, I didn't really pay attention, but today as I was actually paying attention, I realized that there are tiny palettes in the box. Like this is an actual palette, okay, this. So I just have to go ahead and show it to you guys so we can see if we can actually create a look with this or an eye look with this because I already went ahead and did my skin routine. Today we're gonna take a look at the Rachel Zoe X Lorac Hollywood Glamour Mini palettes okay there are four of these palettes and they all have different themes now this is the one i saw that i felt was a little bit more soft glam for our channel for this challenge that i'm trying to do for this holiday so i decided to go ahead and take it this one is called the effortless glamour this palette is so cute it comes in a box and the box is like so tiny look at it like it's like the tiniest palette I have ever seen, okay? Let me know down below in the comments if this is the tiniest palette you ever saw. I thought the ColourPop Cosmetics um, tiny palettes were the tiniest palette I had ever seen. And then I saw the new Huda Beauty palettes, and those were the tiniest palettes I had ever seen. Now, this actually takes the cake of being the tiniest palette I have ever seen. I'm also going to be showing you guys the Juno & Co brush set i already went ahead and used a few of them on my skin routine but these are the new juno and co brushes they are like a rose goldish pinkish uh brush set they have a metallic and plastic handle there are 10 brushes in the set you can find them on their website of course i've used a few of them like i said already you can find them on the website and you will be able to get a discount if you use the code ohima during checkout you will get a percentage off and i am an affiliate with them i've been affiliate with them forever so you save and i get something out of it okay so just go ahead and check them out my eyelids are already prepped and i don't think it's creasing I can just blend it out a little bit. I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camel Concealer to prep my eyelids, okay? But first, I'm gonna go in to my tiny mini palette. I'm taking this shade. Let's see how it does. It doesn't wanna stay open. It is such a cute palette. Oh my gosh. I wanted to see if I can actually create a look with one of the palettes without having to like dip into all the other ones that they have. I'm applying that into my crease and I'm blending it and it's showing up and I don't want to make it too intense because I want it to be like a soft glam look. So I'm blending it on the outer parts of my eye and I'm using the fluffy blending brush that comes in the Juno & Co set and I'm also going to apply some on my outer corner and blend in. I feel like I want to do a halo eye again but I'm not sure maybe not the shades in the palette are very neutral or um, very soft glam like and I also think because of the base that I prepped my eyelids with you know it gives it that I have no choice but to get like a new like a soft glam out of it look you know so I'm intensifying the colors on my outer parts and in my crease by just applying more of our transition shade in my crease but i'm not blending it outwards i'm just keeping it in my crease and my and the outer parts of my eye okay so this is what i got out of it this is a very soft um <laughs> this is the softest it, it's ever gotten right now i'm impressed i'm impressed by this sh i'm taking this tiny 
shade over here. I really don't know what kind of shade this is, but I'm taking this one. And I'm going to brush that on my brow bone. Just so I can disperse our transition shade a bit. That shade actually works. I know it looks like if I... I I'm not going to be able to actually transition with that. But it definitely works to blend out the deeper shade in the palette. You know, to lighten the edges of it a little bit. Make sure my brows are still on fleek because that brush was brushing against my brows a little too much. I didn't kind of like that. So in the palette, there is a glitter-based shimmer shade and there is a metallic shimmer shade. And then there are two regular shimmers in here. I want to go in with the foil shimmer shade. And I'm taking the Juno & Co brush this is a concealer brush i'm gonna pick up this shade over here so compared to my my handheld mirror that i usually use my handheld mirror is actually bigger than the palette like opened up okay i think i need more powder on my face because i don't want the shimmer to get stuck to my face that would make me very sad okay i'm blending out the shade that I just put down. I'm trying really hard not to just go ham on the shimmer or the mattes because I do want this to be a soft glam look. I think this is cute. <laughs> it works, don't tell me. I'm actually achieving soft glam right now, okay? You cannot tell me anything. I'm using a transition shade, just blending over some parts of this just to make everything flow beautifully together <clears throat> i'm gonna line my eyes oh wait wait my lower eyelids let me do my lower eyelids let's not take that one i'm taking the short shader that comes in the juno and co set it's like a short fluffy brush fits perfectly under your eye and let me just buff the powder off to take away the pieces of shimmer that fell on my face i'm so sorry i didn't swing for the glitter because I have literally done glitter like every other day and I think I'm tired of glitter for now. I'm taking a transition shade and I'm putting that on my lower eyelids and I'm blending that out. So it showed up, you can see that it shows up like ever so lightly on my lower eyelids, but I'm not mad at it because we are going for a soft glam look. So I'm gonna line my eyes with the ColourPop um, BFF liquid liner and this is the shade numero uno which is a felt tip liner these liners are amazing for you know being felt tip and also for the price that you get it for okay so this liner is by far the best felt tip liner of 2019 it is amazing it is beautiful it shows up it shows out and it dries so quickly and it stays in place like what more could you ask for? I think I will also insert the price of this liner somewhere on the screen. But with ColourPop prices, this is this is really nice. Okay, so this is how you do it, okay? You draw this one, and you try to make this one match as closely as you possibly can. And then when you're done, you try to make this one match that one. And then when you're done, you make this one match this one. And then by the time you finish, they both look the same. And you end up with a graphic liner. That's how it's done. Okay. Too Faced, Better Than Sex and Diamonds, Mascara. I'm lining my eyes <coughs> in the shade Fishnet. I always make sure I line my inner corner, my upper inner corner that way. When I place my lashes, it doesn't have like a gap between my lash and my inner corner. I'm using the same Bonsu Beauty lashes that we used in our last video. If you haven't seen it yet, you should go see it. We did a glitter look. So I have glitter like all over these lashes, but I'm just pulling off the glitter. And I've been using the Sephora Collection Lash Glue, Brush On Lash Glue. I mean, it's not like crazy dramatic, but you know, you definitely notice a difference in, you know, in having it on. It takes your look to, it takes your look to another level. So I'm taking the shade Glitz, which is this one with a with an eyeliner brush that comes in the set and i'm gonna put that in my inner corner do you see it it's like barely there but it's there you know it gives you a little bit of something to look at but it's like barely there i'm trying to figure out if i want to um line my lips or not i'm just gonna line them i'm gonna line them just because you know just to define it a bit okay so we have the milani 
24 karat gold collection okay so this is the gloss i'm talking about this gloss i feel like this gloss would be a perfect match for our look because it is more golden okay but there's also a lipstick in here that has a little bit more of a goldish sheen to it Ooh. this one is called gold and the gloss is called gold okay guys so this is the lip option that we're doing with this look so if you want you can do a lip shade that is nude or neutral to look to you and then whether you want a matte finish or a glossy finish you can go ahead and finesse that and make it your own okay but i'm gonna go ahead and try another lip option i want to try a red option so i can see what this will look like but if you're someone who likes to you know be incognito and not like just hey look at me then i think this lip option would be perfect for you but if you want a little bit more of the glam with a soft glam then i think we should go for the red lip option okay let's try that and see what it looks like Ooh. This is red. Ooh. This is a pixie shade. This is Pixie by Petra. This is the shade Real Red. It is a very intense red. You can leave it like this. There's nothing wrong with leaving it like this. I'm going to try to line it and see what it does. Just the outer parts of it. Okay, so <coughs> this is what it looks like with the brown on top. I feel like the first time without the liner was cute, but I definitely like this one way better. I feel like this is very festive. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the lips or which lip option you like best. And also just remember to check out the Juno & Co brush set and let me know what you think about the tiny palette that we used today. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the mini palette that we used today. Let me know down below in the comments if we achieved another soft glam look. I think this is a very holiday inspired soft glam look. I can't stop doing this with my hand. So we'll just, you know, keep going with it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to check out the tiny palette. I keep calling it tiny palette, but it's actually called a mini palette. Let me know down below in the comments if you will pick that up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.